I've already explained it before and y'all seen it from the previous clips the lighting in here with this camera is just not the best unfortunately when winter come and the leaves them drop off <laughs> then the place will be brighter but we're very much in the shade and I'm grateful because the past couple days have been really hot and I'd had to turn on the AC and that light bill is about to be ridiculous but hey Mana. It was so uncomfortable to sleep. Like, I love the heat. Cannot get me wrong. I love, 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 love the heat. But one thing I cannot stand is being uncomfortable in heat. So, yeah. That's what I had to say. Uh, the lines on the video is kind of annoying, but it just does that in here. I'm going to have to figure it out. And probably when I get my new lens, it'll be better as well because this lens doesn't do well like look it doesn't do well with shaking or vibration like sometimes i'm i'm re-watching a, a video that i edited and i'm looking like oh my god like my hand was never that shaky the clip was never that shaky but i just saw the lens like the lens don't have no form of stabilization in it and it's really unfortunate because some really nice quality videos that i have are just really crap because it's just so shaky um, I put some salmon out to thaw. I need to clean the bathroom. I want to shave my legs. I want to go to the gym. And it's already 3 o'clock. So it's a bit late for all of that. We'll just have to figure it out. But, anyways, I feel like I have a nice little vlog going here. I'm going to keep vlogging until probably this weekend, which is coming up um and then end the vlog off there i am getting my hair done in about two weeks <sighs> week after next so i'm really really glad about that i'm getting a full sew in i wanted to hurry up and come because i want to dye my hair so bad and my hair is just looking so much healthier I, from i trim my ends and all that good stuff like my edges are still thin but i've been using oil on them and no, it's not. My edges is like this. I don't have a receding hairline. That's just how my edges. My edges. My hairline goes like this. And then it comes back out. Anyways, I'm not putting all this in the video. Let me shut up. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, B squad. I'm actually. Hold on. Switching my hands. I'm actually on my way to JFK for airport standby. 5 30 the sleep still in my eyes like i feel like if i close my eyes for even 60 seconds i will be knocked out um look at the time i did this puff hairstyle i think i saw somebody no if okay either i saw somebody on tiktok with the puff and i was like yep that's what i'm wearing to work tomorrow or i think though it was an old picture of myself that I was looking at, like in video format. And I was like, yup, you look good. I think it was me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> um, I put on a little bit of makeup. Um, literally, a little bit. Because if they don't use me, then when I don't have on a full face, I make up for six hours as I sit on. So, and if they do use me, then at least I look a little bit put together, you know? Um, I have a feeling that they might use me today. Every time I say that, they don't use me. But, hey, who knows? Um, yeah. I'm just tired. Let me stop chatting. Today is Friday, September 8th. I'm going to start seeing the days again. I feel like that's... I'm going to try to get back to my old filming style and old filming habits as much as possible. Like, putting the dates on the videos. I just feel like... I was all over the place but 
I will see you when I get to the crew room. Bye. This is number one, this is number one, this is number one champion sound. Kanye, where you at, love? You at, love? Yeah, Estelle, we about to get down. He said, hey, sister, it's really, really nice to meet ya. I just met this five for seven guy who's just my type. Guys, it's Friday night. It is still September 8th. Music is playing in the background, so I'm gonna have to be quick. But mommy and I are going to watch The Nun 2. And our show's at 9.30, it's now 9.12. And on top of that, I will be going to Charlotte tomorrow, and I'll be going to Nebraska. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, I think I'm going LaGuardia to Charlotte, Charlotte to Nebraska, then Nebraska, spend a night in Nebraska, Omaha, and then come back Omaha to New York. I don't know, either way, I'm spending the night in Omaha, so I'm trying to make this a little fun night for me and mommy. But anyways, music is playing, let me shut up. Bye. Hi, mommy and I are back from the movies, we watched The Nun 2. Mommy, what do you think about it? Ah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. At first, it was a little drawn out, like get to the point. But then, um, it, it really make it. it right the money, right the time and the effort. Yeah. And it, it, it give you anticipation for the next one. For the next Conjuring movie. Yeah, the next Conjuring because um, it's a spin-off and it's like everything is tying back to it. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of good. Because sometimes you watch a movie and them tell and them kind of give you a little hint but then it doesn't play out. Yeah. But this seems to be following a trend, which oh. is good. Which is good. It's a very good one. That All that right, demon is good. I'm just keep going and going and going. Okay. <laughs> yeah, edit. she's gonna keep going. <laughs> you, can, you can edit me. Bye. Cut me, <laughs> me out. That's how it is talking to the camera. Sometimes you just want to talk. Sometimes I edit a video. I'm look down and say a seven minute me I talk for. It's like a counselor. Oh. Yeah, my friends. So yeah, I'm not edit it. It wasn't that long. But yeah, it was a really good movie. Um. I like it better than the better than the first movie. The first movie? Yeah. No. Me like it better than the first one. I feel like it had more variety. It um, a little bit more. And it 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 play upon the different characters. It played just like what it said the demon took the form of like people's fears and you know not even just them fears, just them them deep memories or deep like beings like, that they like. like. And I feel like, like we had more one. characters. To do that in this one, which was nice. Oh, you gonna talk? Oh, uh, yeah. What I like about the first one is that the first one, cause people keep saying suicide is a sin. Suicide is a sin, or whatever. So it's the ultimate sin. Okay, you kill yourself. But in you know, the first one, it showed you said these people they kill themselves. But it was a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So it 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 gives you it puts you in a position to question the church. Um, question your belief and um, question what you really say and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you know the first you know the first nun to me it was like it, it was a good it was a good start of a um a nice um serious mm -hmm. series because one we were the nun that are behaving at a um in another um place eh? in Romania the demon mm -hmm. him going good and he was every, every night in the day and prowl and come up and just basically become one of them. They didn't even realize that the, the, the devil, the demon was among them. Mm -hmm. And then they start killing them one by one. Mm -hmm. And then when Irene, when Sister Irene got here, they were praying. Mm -hmm. No, no, keep up. Yeah. Seriously, they were praying. Remember me. Like we couldn't believe, like, like we couldn't believe, like these people were actually dead. But they actually keep the faith with her, and if, if it wasn't for that, she wouldn't make it through the night. Because mm -hmm. she, remember, she never take her, um, she never take, take her bowls yet. Her bowls yet. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, no, I don't, I'm taking my banana today. <laughs> no? <laughs> Alright guys, have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. Remember, we're heading to Nebraska. So, I'll see you on our way to Nebraska. Hey guys, so I am getting ready to go. I'm actually ready to go. Like I'm fully ready and I'm 28 minutes ahead of schedule so I'm just gonna go and 
chill by the gate. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go down to the crew room. Um, let me see what time I'm supposed to reach Nebraska. And I picked up a trip for um, day after tomorrow. So um, I'm working straight, baby. I'm working straight. So today I'm supposed to reach Nebraska at three o'clock. I love that for us. I love it. Three o'clock. Um, and then I get back. I leave Nebraska at 6.47 a.m. tomorrow. I get back to New York at 1.29. Love that for us. And then on Monday, I leave for Charlotte. So it's JFK to Miami, Miami to Charlotte. And I leave at 5.29. I get to Charlotte at 11.55 because we stop, off, stop over in um, Miami. And then Tuesday, I come back um, Tuesday I come back I leave Charlotte at 2.36 and I come back to New York at 11 10.25 10.25 so I'm all set when I was taking out my contacts last night I was thinking in my head like oh my god I don't want these contacts to rip they ripped that never happens to me I can have contacts for like three months and I know it's like not healthy or whatever. But I have the one month pack, like not the one month pack, like the one a month pack. Um, and they ripped and they were new. They were like two weeks new. So that kind of pissed me off. So I'm gonna be rocking glasses for the rest of the time until I can schedule um a visit with my eye doctor can't remember the proper name for him or her um yeah that's really it and i got my hair tied up when i get to the employee parking lot you know i takes it off and that's really it so i will see you guys over at the gate or if i'm in the mood to go to the crew room i'll see you down at the crew room made it to the terminal they're also playing music, so I gotta be real quick about this. But I'm gonna just work on a vlog really quickly. I've been so unmotivated to vlog. I've been so unmotivated to edit. It's actually ridiculous. Um, I'll just wait a little bit. And I don't know why. It makes me really sad that like, whenever I get into a funk, and I just feel like it's it's when I don't have anything to do other than work and I do get to travel but then sometimes it's just not long enough like I, I like having four days you know to go out and explore and get the nice good up good up vlog so or even a full day where I get to like explore with friends so that's that's where the sadness comes in sometimes but anyways I'm reach out again I'm gonna see if I can sign in in two minutes and then just edit for the rest of the time which is like an hour and change uh i need to come up on here and check i already did my pre-flights empty plane empty plane it's only me and two other crew members and i think i think i saw one of the the pilots <clears throat> we don't got our i don't think we're catered and i need to I need to make sure, yeah, we are not catered, so I need to make sure, I see, I keep feeling like I see the catering van outside, um, I'm gonna go into my flight, this is, <clears throat> airplane mode is off, let me turn off Wi-Fi, so I did all my pre-flights already, I'm gonna go into our, our teamwork thing, and I'm gonna, just ask, like, you know, just, what, what is this? Oh, wrong flight. Reason it don't, give me a second, I'll be right back. All right guys, just landed in Dallas and I need to set up everything that I'm gonna set up, so I need to do that like now. 
But with that being said, the captain got a Starbucks and I need to mix, mix, mix. I wish I had walked over there because I actually went to the bathroom and I wish I had walked over there with the first officer because I like to get a straw. Uh oh, ew, it's a mess. It's too short. I'm gonna need to get one for my bag. I like to get a straw because all the caramel is at the bottom. It takes away from the taste. Um, I'm gonna set up my cart. There's nobody on here. So I'm gonna set up and I'll see you guys. Hey guys. Made it to Nebraska. I showered and everything. I didn't really record. Well, as you can see, I didn't record anything. Or as you can't see it. <laughs> I didn't record anything for this room. It's a nice room, nice bathroom, but yeah. I don't have a view either. Um, I'm actually watching the newest episode of Virgin River on Netflix. And I brought some food that I had got at the movies last night. Um, I, I'm dressed to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm not going to say dressed up, but I am dressed to go downstairs because one of my crew members, she, um, she's going to go downstairs in an hour, she said. So about the next like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to go down there. I told her I may not cause I, I would eat and then probably go to sleep, but I'm going to go. I don't want her to be down there by herself for one. And uh, I could eat again. <laughs> I could eat again uh, even though this burger from the dollar menu this bacon cheeseburger is really nice I'm just saying never been to Nebraska before and if it was a long layover like 19 hours 16 hours 20 something hours then 30 hours I would have definitely found something to do gone out do something but we got to wake up anywhere from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. tomorrow. Not even 5 a.m. Anywhere from 4 to 4.30 tomorrow to get ready because our pickup time is 5.30 a.m. It's a very quick trip. So I'm going to eat, go down to the bar. Fraternize with my crew member. Um... Yeah, she's so funny. <laughs> it's like, we get the same. We have the same humor. It is actually so hilarious. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you downstairs. Listen, people, they're up in your business. They're up in your business. Oh, yeah. So even stuff like that, and it's a good thing. I only share it with close, close people mm -hmm. because sometimes they're not happy for you. Oh, yeah. They're not happy for you. They're nosy. And they just want to know just to know. Oh, yeah. Good morning, guys. I am going to just say my farewells here. I'm leaving Nebraska. I'm actually down by the bar, just standing it up so uh, I can get the good lighting because it does have a lot of really cute. Matter of fact, let me just take a cute picture that I may insert just to show you guys. Just how nice the lighting is. I'll just show you from now, just in case I don't get to insert it. Oh no! There we go. You see all that light? Anyways, um, I'm leaving. I don't really have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And... Uh, I hope you like this weekly vlog. I did try to pull a camera out every day and vlog. And I appreciate you so much for everything that's been going on with my channel. I know I've been inconsistent. I really want to get back on a good schedule. I just need content and I need the time to edit. So, yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, the shuttle is here. Some of my crew members are like in the corner and uh, i don't know i don't want to keep rambling the sandwich was amazing yesterday me and my crew member was laughing and cackling and kicking so that was really nice um we were sharing stories because we we're both new 
and uh, yeah I don't know what else to say uh, <sighs> all right bye hey B squad it's Bikana as you already know I'm actually watching Virgin River the newest season on Netflix and I feel like I'm in the mood to make some rice and peas the only thing I don't have time to pressure cook the peas I didn't soak any peas so I'm hoping that there's a can of like peas in the cabinet um and then with that being said yeah we got some stuff to do it <laughs> I didn't know if we had anything so let me check on anything here really quick i hope you've liked my previous videos and i'm trying to get back into the spirit of vlogging and just being more consistent with you all and just you know doing stuff so let's do it and then i want to go to the gym today uh i went to the gym yesterday while i was on a layover in charlotte so i was very proud of myself for that and i ate two meals so i'm very proud of that because it's either no meal or one so everything is getting back on track on what is supposed to be and I'm just gonna vlog today is Wednesday September 13th um, let me insert here some clips from when I flew on 9-11 and I it was a completely different experience for me because I learned about 9-11 when i moved to america um i don't recall it being something taught at least not at the age that i was at when i was in jamaica so maybe it's taught in high school i don't know i didn't go to high school in jamaica i moved before like the year before i was supposed to go to high school that's when i moved well no the year i was meant to go is when we moved um so i don't know if it's something that's taught then but I didn't learn it until I came here and I think I was probably in grade either 8 or 9 when I learned it. Um, yeah, so, you know, like we know about 9-11, we know about all the lives that were lost and we know about the emotions of the day, like the, the um, testimonies of people that experienced that day. And it... I'm a person that be crying like I, I cry over anything um <laughs> when I see something sad I cry when I hear something sad I cry that's just me I cry at movies sad movies I am a crier um so fast track to now um I mean obviously after this I'm gonna insert the clips but my train had a fire underneath it and I decided to take the train into the city that day like I don't know why like it just wasn't processing to me that you know that's 9-11 like it just like I knew it but it just felt like any other day and that's probably what it felt like to most people before the event happened and you know like you know and then forever changed anywho so yeah my train had a fire underneath it but before I found out about the fire I was like more alert because you know the train stopped for a long period of time at a station and people started leaving and then it immediately like went to my head like oh my god today's 9-11 like people could try some crazy stuff because you know people out there are just crazy somebody could try to do something crazy today because of the day uh so like I just became much much more alert and unfortunately like I don't know why but like I said there's a fire in the train um and then I saw a TikTok video, like, much after the fact. I think I was probably already at the airport at this point. Um, and it was, like, testimonies. It was a phone call. I think, no, the, the night we were in the hotel, uh, I saw or heard phone calls from people on the plane, passengers and crew members, and it was so sad. It was so sad and not in the tone like some of them were like absolutely like they knew what was gonna happen they knew they were gonna die but in this in the tone where like there's one lady where she was just like hey honey like you know there's there's something going on on the plane and she's just and people were commenting about it she just sounded so calm and like 
you could have never told what anyways it's it's starting to I'm starting, my, my heart is starting to elevate. My heart rate is starting to elevate right now. I'm starting to feel warm. But it was just a different take being a flight attendant, knowing that in those situations, there's nothing you can do. Like, we learn a lot in training that obviously I'm not going to talk about. We learn a lot. But in certain situations, you can fight. You, you just have to fight. And if you got to fight to the end, then you just got to fight to the end. But flying on that day made me, as a flight attendant, made me feel different than anything I've ever felt, like, emotion-wise. So, I mean, I've been through some stuff in life, and, like, obviously, like, it don't touch that. But I felt like I was a part of something. Even though it was 22 years in the future, I felt... Like, whoa. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you know, you know. But I, I don't know how to explain it. It just... Whew. Update. <laughs> I just came back from the supermarket. And I'm going to do a little haul. Oh, God. Uh, I walk up the stairs. That's just my form of getting some cardio, I guess. Um, I walk to the supermarket. It's really not that far. Um, let me show y'all what I got. Actually, I don't really have much space, so let me move some of this stuff. I'm going to show you guys in front of me, too, because I have everything laid out and ready to go. So, I got some Doritos <laughs> because I, I don't know, I want it. I wanted it, so I got it. No, I like that flavor. It's either between the purple bag or the blue bag. The Cool Ranch or the Spicy Sweet Chili. Those two flavors, amazing. I also got some kombucha. And I know it's super funny because I got a bag of Doritos and I got kombucha. It's like, pick one. Um, I got the peas, the red beans that I needed. There's a sale going on and it was one... 75 or something like that for one which is very pricey but then if you buy four it's four for five dollars so when i did the math like if i bought four at regular price which over time i probably would it'd be eight dollars so i'm saving myself like three dollars i don't i don't know i'm not good at math but i save money by buying four so these can go under the cabinet and we can use one of them today then I decided that I want to start making myself some breakfast in the morning. Um, whether I bring, like whether I make myself the breakfast to go in in the morning, honey. So I got some everything bagel because I really like everything bagels. And I got some sliced cheese. And then I got some bacon. Some hickory smoked bacon and I also bought <laughs> I had to walk with this in my hand because I didn't want it to crack in the bag I bought some eggs so I'll make some eggs bacon and cheese on an everything bagel for breakfast I feel like that's really nice and wholesome and then I bought some um some chicken thigh they're already cut up, skinned and everything, thank God. So I'll all I have to do is just wash it. And I'm going to season it and I'm going to put it in the oven. Well, I'm going to pan fry it first and then I'm going to put it in the oven. But for a hack, sometimes they don't have bags or paper. You can use one of the produce bags to put your meat in so the juice isn't all over the place and it's not rubbing up on your stuff. And that's really it. And in total, my bill came to $43.56. So I don't know about you guys, but I think that's kind of decent, especially for the increase. I did get a good amount of stuff. Granted, last year, even earlier this year, all of this would have been cheaper. But compared to going to like some other place, I think it was a good buy. Now, let me show you guys what's in front of me. 
and the fact that I'm about to do this rice and peas in the instant pot. Okay, because I want this to be as steady as possible, this is how I'm about to show you guys. I have, uh, let me put the lid because I'm not ready for the lid yet. I have the, the rice here. I already washed it. It actually looks so pretty. I already washed it. Um, and I have my scallion and thyme already washed as well. And I have my, um, and I already washed my hands, y'all know that. <laughs> I have my um, garlic here and I already chopped, like, smashed them up. I have coconut powder that's already open that I don't want to waste. But I, already, I also have another pack because this won't be enough. Then I have my black pepper. I got my, no, what is it called again? Pimento. <laughs> And I have um, some salt. So that's all I'll need. And obviously I just went and bought this. That's all I'll need. I'm going to get everything sorted out. Um, I'm going to put away all this extra stuff that I purchased. And cook it up. Then I'll come back to you when everything's in the pot. Alright, so this is it. Everything's in, all seasoned up. I even add some extra garlic. And I had to add some brown sugar. But other than that, everything that I showed you in a previous clip is in the pot. So I'm going to let it cook. And I'll be back and show you. I'm going to prepare the chicken and I'll just show you the chicken when that's done. So when everything is done, that's when I'll be back. I am at the hotel and I'm in San Francisco San Francisco I want to show you guys my outfit real quick look at the abs it's called starvation but I'm actually starting to eat now I think I talked about it in my last clip I have no idea but I feel like my life has took a turn for the better like work is going great like money is going great but I just was not in the mental space that I wanted to be in. I wasn't working out anymore. Like I was on a good streak, but now I'm back and I'm so ready to be serious with working out, with eating right, and with my YouTube. Those are my three priorities to get back on track. But anywho, I'm gonna walk to the Golden Gate Bridge right now by myself. And um, my crew members told me a really great way to get there. So I'm about to do that. I have on jeans because they said it may get chilly and I have a long sleeve shirt. What you're hearing is some slippers that I took from a hotel that I keep in the plastic. And I keep it in my bag. <laughs> so I have slippers to walk around. Oh, you can really see my outfit. I think I'm going to wear my sneakers and I really my Adidas sneakers were supposed to be here by now. So I'm really upset that they're not here because then I could have worn them with this outfit and it would have been but I have this long sleeve shirt because I took my Adidas jacket out. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to wash it. I'll put my jeans jacket in, which would have also been fire. And I completely forgot until my crew member was like, I hope you brought a jacket while we were in the van to the hotel. So it was too late for all of that. But I'll, I just ran the iron over this. It is still not the straightest item ever. It does look crispy, but at least it looked like crispy you wore it throughout the day crispy and not crispy you didn't iron it crispy. Either way, it's crispy. But I'm going to wear it just in case I get cold later. I have something long. It's the only long sleeve I got. And it's just quite long. I can even button it all the way up or, or tuck it or tie it or do whatever. But I, I got options. I got, I got companies. No. I got businesses. <laughs> I'm going to insert the clip here. No. No, I don't have bookings. I work. I have. You got a job? Baby, I own businesses. <laughs> so that's that. 
And honestly, I brought my drone with me. I just don't think I'm going to bring it after all. It's just too much. I'm going to try to find some free drone shots online. Um, if I came with other people, I would have brought my drone with me. Or if I was here longer, I would have brought my... I would have explored more with the drone. But I'm just here for such a short period of time. It's going to take me almost two hours to walk to the bridge. So uh, honestly, I'm going to put my sneakers on and I'll show you my full outfit. And then we're going to head outside. So let's go. There's the shoes that I'm talking about. You hear that? Sound like SpongeBob. But anyways, I got my black socks, and no, y'all not about to see my toes for free. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know where I got the socks from. Did I take it from my mom? Did I get it from a hotel? I don't know, but I love it. It has this mesh. You can't even really see it. If I'm in the mood, I'll take a picture later. But um, it got that little mesh look, and then around the toe part, it's solid. So it just looks really, I don't know, I just like the way it looks. Okay, these are my little Nike workout shoes that may look ugly now, but I'm going to wear it with my outfit. I don't care, it matches my outfit. It actually really does look nice. I want to buy some more dad sneakers. So, just gonna have to figure that out later. But at least I got my walking shoes, you know? So, I should be all fine. So, let's check out the fit and go. I know this is not the best place to be doing a little fit check, but I have lost weight. Like, I don't know. I just need to wash. I need to wash the jeans first. You know, when you wear jeans and then they get really stretched out and you don't know if, like, the next time you wear it, you lost weight or it's just really stretched out. So I need to wash these and come back to you. But it's feeling really, really loose in the waist. That means I lost, I lost my booty, unfortunately. But we are trying. We're doing our thing. This is my bag. I got some 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 in there. My glass. My water. The shirt that I was talking about. Uh, I don't think it's going to rain, so I'm not going to bring no umbrella or anything. I think I'm going to bring my headphones so i can like enjoy myself on the walk like sometimes you you want to hear outside but sometimes you don't and then i'm going to i also have my charger portable charger because like i said it's a two hour walk and your girl likes to take pictures okay so yeah that's really it i'm gonna warm up my food downstairs because we're trying to save some money i i may still buy food on the road because we have no self-control but at least I'll try to fill my stomach before so I'm not I don't go overboard with the spending if that makes sense um matter of fact because I don't want to come back to a dark room but yeah phone is in here room keys in here and this is the food let me try to show you guys yeah so I need to bring a fork with me guys I'm rambling let me put these keys on these rings on get downstairs and we can really enjoy the san francisco section of the vlog <laughs> let me put this headphones on we will perfectly with these so i'm gonna have to use this and until i get to a good place it's gonna have to be in in the shirt i don't know if i'm saying that right So my food is warmed up. Um, I'm gonna put the Golden Gate Bridge in Google Maps and we're gonna walk. We're going to walk. So let's go explore San Francisco and all that it has to offer.
Guys, I really hope you can hear me because it is windy. So if there's any day to test out the uh, dead cat, today would be that day. I'm still walking to the Golden Gate Bridge and it's telling me that I have an hour and 20 minutes left to go. <laughs> um, and it's getting colder and colder by the second. But I hope you've liked the clips of the seal and of Alcatraz and I really hope I get to the Golden Gate Bridge today <laughs> but I definitely will be taking a Uber back to the hotel and fortunately it's not it's not so pricey compared to New York it's not as pricey as I was expecting it to be so it's definitely a doable price like more than doable so I'm still walking I need to go look at my Google Maps because we've come to an interesting point. I'm trying to speak up so you can actually hear me and I can validly say that this thing works. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next clip. Thank you so much. You too. <laughs> guys, I stopped in Starbucks to pee. But she was just so kind. I had to get something to drink. So I got a pumpkin spice latte to warm up myself because it's freezing outside like where did this weather come from mm. i don't know how people hate this drink if you hate this drink judging you because it's so good mm. pumpkin spice latte for that's me all right well guys i'm as close as i'm ever going to be this is it this is the golden gate bridge and unfortunately the weather took a turn for the worse so it is pretty overcast but it's still very breathtaking and beautiful i'm gonna put over all the footage that i have and you know just try to make it look as magical as possible it's very overcast, um, not overcast, <laughs> it's very overcast and windy, so this is all that I got for you guys until I get to come back on a more sunny, bright day. I hope you enjoy. Guys, so I just took a little pause. I just wanted to show you Alcatraz here in the background so I'm making my way back <laughs> right here I'm making my way back over um, the hotel side closer into downtown um, I'm getting a call so I'll be right back guys right, so I tried to buy some anklets for myself and uh, um, I was gonna walk around some more and buy a gift for mommy but I left my cards at the hotel and this is my first experience ever of the stores not using tap not using Apple Pay not using tap you have to insert the chip so I was like ooh red flag um, so obviously I couldn't leave with anything I'm gonna I booked my uber the ride should be pulling up in two minutes and then i'm gonna head back to the hotel walk around the hotel because i think there should be some like shopping centers in that area and see what i can buy mommy before before tomorrow but for myself i really wanted the anklets so i'm so disappointed because i was gonna buy three of them and stack them and they were so cute and they were five dollars each so it would have just been real nice but you win some you lose some anyways it's so windy and it's so cold i'm gonna wait for my uber to come and i'll get back to you guys
part so I don't know what it is with my charger well the external charger but it's not working at all I've made it back to the hotel safe and sound I'm gonna go charge my phone and then I may come out to buy my mom something buy myself something and uh, yeah the uber driver did tell me that there is a conference going on let me just take the oopsies sorry let me just take the elevator upstairs so there's a conference going on uh-oh wait what? going up yeah, <laughs> good how are you good. did you hear that Wait, song that I made. I feel bad if you heard that. Uh oh. Which floor are we in? Eight. Okay. No, I'm not on these. But, like I said, it's the only long sleeve I have. If anything, I'm going to change this gray top. But as soon as I come back, I'm going to bathe. I haven't touched the bed. I haven't sat down. None of that. I just changed from the pants into a skirt. And that's it. So I'm about to just run back outside so I can buy something before these stores close, like a gift or something. And I just explained to mommy, even though she was sleeping, I don't think she's gonna remember when she wakes up tomorrow. This is what I'm wearing. Oh shoot, I forgot to change my top. I'll be right back. Again, the lighting is not the best. <sighs> but basically, it's just the top that's changed. It's honestly, it's a skirt in the top. But it's really nice. I love the way it fits. And of course, my black flats that I've always been rocking from Tory Burch, just regular flip flops with padding on the inside sole. I really like it to walk around in. Um, I don't plan to go far. Whatever is open is open. I can try to find something cute there. And this is the outfit. Same long sleeve because this is the only long sleeve I have in my bag. I need girl need to stay warm because outside look cool. Um and I'm not wearing nothing else. I'm not wearing other sneakers from my foot, so yeah, that is really it. Let's go. wrong hotel the same name but the wrong location the same exact name but the wrong location so me then oh tell me i said no man this don't look right like this don't look like the same spinning doors that i recognize like mama's there the back of the hotel or something like this door right look up to the front desk and she said you sure you have the right address and said like, what do you mean like is one one hotel right she said like, no there's two locations like Jesus, I'm sure she said we we don't have your floor number. We don't have that we don't have that many floors. So I had to book an Uber because my friend was like, you need to book an Uber. Don't walk. You can get T Fun who's much, much more money than a nine dollar Uber. So my driver should be arriving in two minutes. And I had to pee. So I was like, please can I just use the bathroom? Like I booked an Uber. I'm just trying to get the hell out of here, but I need to pee. So she was like, okay. Anyways. I know this song and I know I'll get covered in. I'll see y'all in a minute. Gym. 
<laughs> I have to pull that up. Uh, I'm in my body. Um, my swimsuit, not my swimsuit, my gym top and a shirt from yesterday because I gotta make it work. Um, and my shorts. Anywho, I woke up early, early. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, I just cannot sleep. I can't sleep. I can't stay asleep. I have anxiety of waking up late. And it's really starting to get to me because I don't get a proper sleep. Like, I woke up at 4 o'clock, right? 4 a.m. I think I woke up before that. I think I woke up around 3. But this is what I remember right now. 4 a.m., right? And then I was like, okay, it's really early. I'm not meant to wake up until 6.30. Let me try to go back to sleep. So then my rollover, and I felt like I was sleeping, but then I woke up again. It was 4.15. I was like, what is going on? So I was like, all right, but kind of, you really need for good sleep. Roll over again, woke up 4.32. I kid you not. It, and it just kept going on like that. Um, I did get a chunk of sleep, like about an hour from that time to like 5 something um like 5 40 something when i woke up again and then i just realized like i really had to pee and that's one of the issues that i've been having lately like i drink so much water and i like to drink water before bed especially when i know i need to wake up in the morning because i know i'm gonna wake up to pee and i know the way my body work i, I will wake i'm overworking it now but i will wake up to pee close to the time that i need to wake up so but lately, I've been waking up too early. So really, I just needed to pee. And my body was telling me, girl, you need to get up and go pee. Because um, I think I went to pee and I came back and I slept a little longer. <sighs> it's just so annoying. But anyways, I was like, since I'm up, I have time. Pickup is an hour from now. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to shower. Uh, I need to redo my hair. I washed my do-rag, though, and I hung it up. So it's all clean and pretty and it smells lovely like it smells so nice this soap that they have oh my god it smells beautiful like I really want to package it up and bring it with me it smells so good um yeah so let me get ready um I'm about to head back to New York uh so that's really it I will catch you guys when I'm all ready and then after that, I'll catch y'all when I'm in New York. <laughs> Bye. All right, so it's 8.25. I'm all done. I'm just gonna, um, mind you, pick up is 8.40. I'm all done. I'm very proud of myself. I am just going to take my food out the fridge, put them in the clean containers that I have, and the food that I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna microwave it downstairs. I shaved my legs before I came on this trip and I did not so guess who is gonna be wearing that ripped stockings and you know what I told myself Bikana start putting start putting an extra stockings in your bag just in case no why would I do that I don't want to do that look at me now so so it's kind of annoying oh well Thank you guys so much for watching this portion of the video. When I get back to New York, I will see you probably in the kitchen. Hey B squad, good morning. Today is September 16th and it's 11.13 a.m. I'm actually heading to the mall because my rings, um, I don't know if it's focusing or not or what but these rings right here I'll show you them when I get to the mall the diamonds keep falling out and there's insurance on them so we're gonna go get those fixed while I'm at the mall if I see any other jewelry that I like I'm gonna get it <laughs> um, and I think I'm gonna stop in Sephora because I need some more skincare stuff I only have a face wash and some serums and some stuff. But I'm going to need some more stuff. <laughs> that was such a crazy way to describe it all. 
I don't intend to go anywhere else. I do like you know if I see something then I may go inside. But I start my wrap in about 40 minutes. The mall isn't far from me. Um so if they call me I can come back home, grab my stuff and go. But hopefully they don't call me. But it's from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So yeah that's an all day thing but we have stuff to do we're not gonna let that limit us to just staying at home and i promise you i was gonna come back last night and um talk to you all but when i got home from san fran i showered and i went to sleep like i even set up the camera to talk a little bit but the lighting i'm realizing the lighting in my room for this camera is just so yellow and i don't like that unless it's daytime filming at night just just did not look good uh so anyways may I rumble i'm gonna really have much time so i will see you at the mall turned in my ring so i don't got no rings on my finger and i was like you know what let me buy myself a ring and while i'm at it let me buy mommy a ring as well long story short it didn't work out um i've become such a picky shopper that i realized i just don't I just don't buy anything. These are really cute, no? These are really cute. Like, I con myself out of buying stuff. Like, I just tell myself, like, no, you don't. Like, don't buy it. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I have now left three jewelry stores with no new jewelry. Now, I'm in Macy's. I'm just trying to find some delicates. Um, and I've just gotten to be, like, in my granny stage where I want... Um, just regular cotton underwear like just regular regular granny cotton panties and Victoria's Secret is really nice but like you kind of get a small patch of cotton and I'm not with that I'm not with that but I do love the designs of Victoria's Secret when I get into my sexy girl bag again I'll definitely be going there but for now I'm in my granny panty bags and that's what I want and I don't know where over here they got that so <laughs> So I need to find out because mommy and I are going to go get some food um, from one of her friends. Uh, so I need to hurry up. But I'll be right back. It's after 12, it's literally 12.29 a.m. I'm going to go down to the gym and I'll see you guys in the morning. And today is Sunday, September 17th. So good morning again so i went to the gym and i feel like i had the most amazing uh routine i like i did what i was supposed to do and i finished seven minutes after one came back up and i didn't go to sleep until like after three <clears throat> crew scheduling people I don't know maybe they maybe they don't like me maybe they preed what I was about to do but I was trying to get airport standby and I was trying to get the 445 airport standby at JFK because that would have gotten me I would have finished that shift at let me see 45 I would have finished that at 10 something right and then that could have given me time to just go in like an hour and change or whatever it was or two hours and get on the flight to Miami and then from there get on the 6 30 flight to Jamaica because I want to go to Jamaica today right so they gave me wrap at home standby I'm only good for today they gave me at home standby from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. so I'm currently on at home standby like I'm waiting or not for a call um i'm only good for one day so they can only give me a call at um they can only give me a call for a turn like um to charlotte and back miami and back um uh, riley and back dc and back like i gotta come back because <laughs> i'm only good for today if they bring me into my off day, they're going to have to give me back my off day some other time because it's a contractual off day. 
you know, like I have to have a certain amount of off days. If you take it from me, I got to get one back. Um, so since I finished at two o'clock, there's a flight that leaves 2.45 at LaGuardia. That flight gets to Miami at six. It's supposed to get to Miami at six, but I think I've explained it to you before. But if you're new here, sometimes your ticket be having times on it and you reach earlier than that time. Like as a flight attendant, I've been realizing that they're like, oh, it's gonna be a three hour flight. You actually get there in two hour and 15 minutes. It's actually crazy. Um, so I have every confidence that I could get there at 5.30, right? I could get there even at 5.45. I have every confidence that that could be the case. Because, like I said previously, the flight from Miami leaves at 6.30, yeah? This flight that leaves at 2.45 gets to Miami at 6 o'clock. So... Everything would have to be smooth. It would have to be the smoothest boarding process. It would have to be like we would have to leave out on time. We would have to leave out early. Um, so like I'm really hoping for you know. I'm really hoping for it. Um, cause then that would be nice. Anyways, my day I talk talk talk. I'm still really tired cause I went to sleep so late. So I'm gonna go back to sleep. But I did buy. Um, remember the stuff from last time? The egg, bacon, and bagel and the cheese? I have not made any sandwiches with it yet. So, I'm going to make one of those before I go down to Jamaica tonight. If I don't get to go, unfortunately, knock on wood. If I don't get to go, I'll go tomorrow. But I don't have that much time there. I only have three days off of work. And I'm trying to fit this day in to give me like at least three days there you know what i mean because long story i'm gonna ramble into another direction and i don't want that so yeah i just wanted to explain to you what's going on and i've edited my video oh i feel so good like i feel like all i need right now is some consistency in my life and some What's it? Dedication? Some determination? I don't remember the right word, but I need to stay focused on what I want out of life and do it. So what's that? Dedication, right? Um, so I've edited the vlog and I hope y'all like it. It's the last one. I don't think I'm going to make the Jamaica vlog separate, so I don't know. I'll think about it, depending on how much footage this is. Uh, but yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you go check out the Paris vlog, the London vlog, the Barcelona vlog. Um, Paris, London, Barcelona. Paris, London, Barcelona. Wow. Paris, London, Barcelona, Colombia, Guyana. Make sure you go check out all those vlogs. That's amazing. And check out the weekly vlog and my little sad vlog. I appreciate you all so much. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next part. I feel like as of late, I'm always washing. But it's Sunday. And I try to make Sunday my washing clean day. So I need to change a sheet on my bed. I need to like put away everything. So when I come back from Jamaica, it's really nice. You know what I mean? Really nice. I already put a load in the machine, so... I'm going to make some breakfast. Mommy had made this um, green juice that she blended. So I'm going to be drinking some. I know it looks like absolutely gross, but it tastes really good. I think there's ginger, carrot, cucumber, um, and some other type of greens. Like a kale or a spinach. Or, well, not spinach. I think kale. Um, it's really good she made one version without sugar and then she made one version with sugar and I like to drink the version without sugar it is so good alright let's make breakfast right now Trying to get a little bit of salt 
of all of them. Come on. And flip them, but I can't flip them and hold this. There we go. But it's coming from the same bacon. So I do not care about the little black stuff, the little brown stuff. It's coming literally right off of the bacon. And it's gonna go right back on top of the bacon. So here, here's the bacon and the everything bagel. And I put some butter and I got some eggs that I wanna drop on top of the, not the eggs. I want, I have cheese that I wanna drop on top of the eggs in a minute. When it's all done, I'll be right back. Basically, this is a finished sandwich. Um, I don't have any lettuce and I don't feel like cutting up any tomatoes. But I will put another egg on top of the cheese and sandwich it. And basically, a very unhealthy breakfast for the morning. <laughs> so, like I said, it was never gonna be healthy. Look, look at it, oh my God, it looks amazing. Like, even I can't make it up. This has gotta be like $5.99. This has to be $5.99 or it can be a solid $1,500. Mm hmm, very true. <laughs> was closed now we need fuel a bunch of things and here I was thinking I was not gonna make the flight from New York because it was so close we've been here like almost an hour and a half no two hours almost it's just crazy I'm ready to be gone um, at least I'll be in Jamaica tonight and then I have all of tomorrow and then I have the 19th which I'm gonna get my hair done on the 19th and then I'll leave right after. So it's better than reaching tomorrow in the afternoon and only having like the afternoon. So I, I can't complain. But a lot of people want to leave. I know I'm tired and hungry. Um, so the captain said he's going to come and update us in 15 minutes on the refueling process and all that extra stuff. So I'll keep you updated as much as I can. And I'll see y'all hopefully in Kingston. Look who it is. Guys, look who it is. You know what that means? <laughs> I'm going on the road with Kai, day in the life of Kai Jackson, so. Let's go. What's first on the agenda? To the office. To the office. Business calls. Yeah. We'll be right back. Since you're an angel, angel, angel. <laughs> this was recording. Guys, we are at Tasty right now. Um, Kai is treating me to some cheese patty. She said two. A rich girl right here. What? It, no, oh, you, why are you just so quiet? Why are you so quiet? You know I'm shy. It's just me and you. When the camera, then the camera. And the camera. I'm just imagining all this. <laughs> all the people that I'm watching. watching. They'll be like, I want to cut. And all my friends that's going to be like, I guess, yeah. Oh, I saw Kai in the vlog. Yeah, that girl I saw in the vlog. Yeah. In Bicana. Bicana's yeah. vlog. You look so different in person. This is it? One girl work over this one. What that mean? Like she means I look bit better in person. Like what I mean. yeah. yeah, people say that for true. People say you're shorter or you're smaller. Mm -hmm. Yo, people always expect people to be tall on camera. Camera, yeah. yeah. But Kai is tall. I'm average. Kai is tall. What? Five, five. Five, five. That's not average. That's above average. No, that's not. Five four is average. I'm five four. Kai tall. Really? <laughs> no, it's average. Which yeah. Five four. Five, I feel like five. it's average on the taller side. Yeah. Five seven. Five eight. That's them they're tall. Me. And then five, two, five, five foot. Short. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Kai, what are we doing today? Because we didn't get to tell them. You're going to wear it. Oh, okay. 
We're supposed to go out in a guy. Oh, we're man. supposed to go out. So where should we go? Somewhere. Let's go to Gambara yeah, with the Katak Bar and something. Mm-hmm. Why am I gonna come You see, I don't have weekend off. Shit. Business calls. B- business calls. I ain't next time. Hello. I can have. Okay, what is it? Two cheese, one beef. Three cheese, one chicken cheese, and a beef. Two corner champagne cup soda. I want a chicken cheese too. Here you know. So you want me to switch one of the cheese and Yes. You can switch one of the cheese to a chicken cheese. So two cheese, two chicken cheese, one beef. And two cups soda. Jesus. <laughs> Can't tap it. Your ear? Jesus, it's so annoying. I was just gonna ask who did your hair because it looks so good. I mean, yeah, but I'm gonna like it, man. It's annoying. Guys, drop a comment down below about Kai's hair, how beautiful it looks. <laughs> you know they'll drop the comment too because it looks good. Oh, oh wait to be there. Yeah, period. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself useful. <laughs> I'm trying to vlog. Don't you want me to vlog? Don't you want me to make some money? Yeah. Thank you. Is that it? Making myself useful. Okay. One Monday bag with one beef. A bag guy. One beef. So let's go find him. But I said to Kai, I don't know how much people in big beef because he probably get by six dozen. I mean, half, half dozen beef. Where did he go? All right, guys, we're going to eat the chicken, cheese, and the beef. We couldn't find the man. So, one extra beef on us. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you when we get into town. And you already know how the roads stay already, so I don't know why you're in a comment bow shaky video. <laughs> Love y'all. Alright, so I'm here waiting on Kai. She went inside of somewhere to get something done. <laughs> um I'm trying to pull the seat back a little bit. Oh I think this can't be as far. Oh anyway. Um they forgot to give us straws, but this drink, oh god, it just hitting all the right spots it's it's literally just crispy and nice like i don't know if i explain it like you know when you drink soda in jamaica it just crisp it just crisp <laughs> i have one cheese party left um and i want to call JN to see if I can I don't know may I try the online banking from how long and then the email me and say somebody that can contact me I never get no contact and then I followed up on the email and it just never like I didn't get no response so as per usual in Jamaica I would have to go and do it in person which I wasn't really praying until today but today's my last full day really like by this time tomorrow my hair is supposed to be done and Chad would pick me up and head back to the hotel so I'm gonna try to go out tonight with either Chad or Kai um and just have some fun while I'm here and I really wish I had like a set of days off and maybe next month I'll come back to Jamaica cuz I was thinking like I bid for I think it was like five days off let me try to pull it up i'll even pop it up on the screen um but i tr no, i'll show you what i bid for i'll show you what i bid for and hopefully uh i get it you know i'm not always so lucky next month is october right because we're in september october yeah so i bid for one two three four five days i bid for five days off so like i said i'm gonna pop it up so you can see it better but i bid for i bid for these five days 
October 3rd to the 7th, a bid for the 10th and the, 10th and the 11th, 18th and the 19th, 24th to the 26th. So as per our contract, we have 12 days off that we are guaranteed every month. It's a contractual thing. So we have to get those days off. Um, I'm never so lucky. The only time I was ever that lucky was the first ever month um that i put in a bid which was jennifer march april may june june on june i got everything that i wanted but ever since then we get scraps brother like i may get a one and two even a three and four day but then after that everything's all over the place so fingers crossed pray for me that i get those days anyways um like i said i'm gonna try to go tonight have some fun and yeah, I have an early air appointment tomorrow. I'm just really excited. You know, your girl is happy. I'm happy. And I have a video to edit. So I'm going to start editing that today. Because I, I want that video to go up on Thursday. Two five nine fees and a big card. Do your duties. Girl. Take out the purse. Girl. <laughs> Not her hitting the lip and a hide and a hide. <laughs> Anyways, find me my money. <laughs> Guys, leave it up to me to come to Jamaica when it is raining. But I love to see it because it's so hot outside. My Jesus, like it, it hot differently. But the, the, the rain is it's giving life. <laughs> okay, it's giving life back to the island. So that's amazing. You may hear a little bit of noise, but I'm in Kai's office and we just came off the road. I had the best sleep ever in the car. When I tell you I am tired, I was not lying. I am tired. Um there she comes out. <laughs> um yeah, what you're hearing in the background is the AC. But we are here. I don't know how long we're here for. But Kai is working. I'm the, the child. It's like, bring your child to work day. <laughs> Alright. Um, since I have a feeling it, it's a little bit loud, let me get back to you guys when we're probably in the car or heading back home. And again, we are going out tonight. I don't know who needs to hear this, but we are going out tonight. Okay, so stay tuned for the rest of that. It's been a while since I've been in these toll lines, and it's gonna be a while since these toll lines see me. Kai's out here spending her grown woman money on me. I just feel Jesus. so good. I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do. And it's gonna be the same when I come to New York. Yes, it is, of course. Yeah. Her language, oh, I like oh, Jesus. Woo! And the bags are freaking heavy. Jesus. Uh -huh. Take it, man. Take it. Take it, Jesus. Hi. Okay. That's it. Hmm? Thank you. Damn, she has exact change. Jesus. Hold that hair. Kiss it. Oh, God. <laughs> Try her turn nails, guys. You miss it. Like, as I turn off the camera, that's when it happens. So, fill you in. I'm in a pain in every language. Okay, I'm not no massacre, but. I know I just got order KFC. If you ever make that fly off. <laughs> <laughs> the man has a driver's license. <laughs> the dealer face probably, what? Right. So, and the two of them in a problem. You know? Yes. I'm just saying, oh, you have to make the man a drive. Mm -hmm. I know the first thing that you should establish. Yeah, but I left them at the office, but here they are. Yes, sir. Miss Jackson, I am at the wharf. Mm hmm. We're busy here, my brother. Jackals. Really? Probably not. Why? So much. I want to stop me sometime. Huh? 
Yeah. And someone trying to stop me something. No, me no, me no, me no do that thing. Good morning guys, I know it's super bad lighting right now. I hope you enjoyed last night's portion of the vlog. It was um it was really nice. It was a, um very entertaining, a lot of fun, it was definitely very packed, very hot. Uh, but everybody was great amazing performers amazing amazing performers so I am about to go get my hair done um, you'll see Chad in a minute and uh, yeah I'm gonna have nothing else to say so see you in a minute Here is Chad. So I'm really early to my appointment. Uh, this isn't open yet. And I'm playing so many games. Full, full Chad. You play too much games. Mm -hmm.
Jó esen. <laughs> Jó esen az. Ez szép, már nagyon jól elpróbáltam, mint már így. You read about that? Ja, ez volt a rossz? No. Bászom, hogy tudunk rá, nem azt mondjuk No, it's been ten thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars each for VIP. Oh, you pay for guy too? Yeah. I don't know. Can't be very expensive. Anyway, so that is water. Okay. I am on, on here with Kai, with Miss Kai Jackson. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, what, are you doing, what are you doing today, Kai? Working. <laughs> All right, you heard it from Kai, guys. Make sure you support Jackal's Automart. Links will be down in the description box. Oh down looks like and I got this little tail piece in the back let me just show y'all real quick what it looks like and that's it city to city I'm on the go you keep on texting when I'm coming home hold up taking off a little bit of like a bang look but I can always like pull it back but I'll show you more when I get back especially in the car and I'll post some videos on the side so you can see alrighty here I am again um I am actually out well I'm in the car I'm by Burt's Burt's is over here I'm in the car waiting on Chad finally connected my phone to the Bluetooth because we were trying to figure that out for the longest time. I actually just saw Sasha, but I didn't want to just pull the camera out and be like, you know. But I did show her the camera, but I just we didn't I didn't record anything. But believe me, I just saw Sasha. Um and she's doing amazing. I got my hair pinned up, but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving it. It just looks amazing. It's a middle part. Um and I got my little fringes that I don't know if I showed you, but I could also do. You don't have to see it with the hair down. I could do a fringe bang. Um, I could also do a fringe bang. But for now, I'm just rocking it like this and keeping it off my shoulders and my neck. But it's super duper cute. Um, I'm loving it. I will have this hairstyle until November. I will have this hairstyle going into November. I cannot wait to curl it and do all the cute stuff that I want to do. And yeah. And then I'll probably just get this same hairstyle done again. Um, end of November going all the way into the beginning of January. My goal for my natural hair is just to keep it healthy. Um, lessen the heat damage uh and i like straight looks and i like curls and stuff like that so this is just the best way for me to get those styles that i want while protecting my natural hair pattern you know um that's it that's everything to do with my hair unfortunately the appointment ran over by a lot um so i did not obviously get on my flight 
to go back to New York. I have to get on my flight tomorrow because I work the day after. So I'm pushing it really, really close and I hate that for me. But tomorrow we will be getting on our flight, getting into New York at four o'clock. And that's perfect time. Like I wouldn't even have found out. I won't find out what I have to like be like or whether airport standby, at home standby at that time anyways because it doesn't even come out like then and there so i'm just glad and i'm really trying to get home on those first couple flights anyways that's all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching this portion stay tuned for what i have left and if anything i'll just see you at the house later tonight or see you at the airport tomorrow morning <laughs>